What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. This place right here behind me is called Chubby Cattle and it is the best hot pot in Las Vegas. And if you guys couldn't tell, I'm feeling a little under the weather so let's go inside and get some soup and some seafood and see if I can feel much better. All right, so we've got our table now. We sat down, and this time around, I got a bottle of soju because I haven't gotten any since I've been here. Cheers. All right, so when you come up here first, you gotta grab your sauces and your little accessories for your soup base. So they have garlic, uh, ponzu, green onion, cilantro, there's peanut crust, all kinds of stuff like that. So you just come up to this little bar right here, grab all the stuff that you need, and you're good to go. Okay, so we got our soup base. Now what we always choose when we come here is actually the hellish entry level. It's like the the mild entry level to the hot because anything above that is really, really hot. But we always start off with pretty much the same thing. So I get the noodles, which are fantastic. And they changed out my tiger roll, so we got prawns instead. So we got some prawns, we we'll throw those in there, check those out. Another go-to of me is the uh, sponge tofu. Love the sponge tofu. And we got the Wagyu round. So it's a little bit, uh, a little bit leaner cut than the actual um, A5 Wagyu. So we'll try that out and uh, we'll see uh, how we like that one because it's the first time trying that one this time. All right, so you can see, once you pull the noodles out, it pulls up all the spices and peppers and stuff like that, so these noodles are gonna be spicy. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be sweating later on. So I get the, uh, the spongy tofu, and one of the best reasons for having this is that it just, it soaks up the broth. So it's just like eating the soup. I could go through and just order this in the soup base and just go through it all day. So one of the greatest things about the way that they slice the beef here is that it is super, super thin. So you only have to cook it in the broth for a couple of seconds and then you pull it out and you're ready to go. So this is the Wagyu round steak. It's a lot leaner than everything else I've seen on the menu, which I prefer. It's definitely chewier, which I enjoy, and it held the flavor really well. So I might stick with that one. Okay, so the one thing that kind of threw me for a loop, I normally go for the tiger shrimp, which the head's already cut off, and you just drop them in, peel the shell off, and then you're good to go. Well, they have replaced them with the Argentine red prawns. So we'll throw a couple of these in, check out how they uh, how they taste. Probably a little bit more work because the heads and everything are on them still. So. Okay, so I got one of the prawns all uh, taken apart. You know, this is pretty much all that's left of the tail out of those big things, so I don't need anything off the head. Tear the feet and the shell and everything off this is left. So, I mean, it's a lot of work for a little bit of meat, but let's see if it's worth it.
that actually holds the juice really well. It's not too firm. I think that the tiger, uh, the tiger shrimp was a little too chewy. This one's a little bit more buttery. So, is it worth peeling the shell and the head off? It might be. So as you guys could tell from the beginning of the video, they have a conveyor belt that has extra food on it, and you can pick it out. The plate determines what the cost is. There's a little thing on the bottom, I'll show you that right now. But this is where you can pick up the extra little things from. So you can order the main stuff from there, and then pick up all the side stuff. All right, so out of the uh, conveyor belt, we got some imitation crab meat and some baby corn. Let it soak in the soup base for a little bit. This is like the extra stuff that you can get. For as cheap as those prices are, it's easy to just grab one, throw it in the soup base, and just eat it between getting more steak. Alrighty guys, that was a quick glimpse into our day at Chubby Cattle. This is one of those places that we come to every couple of months and we splurge and we come. So thanks for hanging out. We'll catch you guys on the next one.